What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're back with some more ESO DLC, or the Orsinium DLC. Uh, today, we were in, in, or last episode, we were in an Orsinium completing a quest, and we ha have this quest that we can turn in as well, where the House of Orsinium Glories, a museum in the rebuilt city of Orsinium, seeks to fill its displays with relics and other items of historical importance to both oaks, orcs and the land of Rothgar. So we found the helm, and we must return it to the curator, Uma Thurman. I think that's, that's a, her Relic name, I Relic Hunter returns. Tell me, was your search for Uzdabik's helm successful? There's a display case just waiting to be filled. I found the helm. So it really does exist. Sometimes you never know when you're dealing with myth and legend. Could I trouble you to take it downstairs and place it in its display? In the meantime, I'll find that list of relics I mentioned the last time we spoke. Alright, so we need to go downstairs and place our said helm we've collected. And I feel like we have to finish this room up. What does the... We can examine it. The history of Rathgar is a history of... Things I can't read. Of war during the Battle of Far Run Pass... What's his face rose from obscurity to become its most celeb to become its most celebrated hero. Reports are concerning his gender conflicted, but curator Uma Thurman favors the tale that describes her as a female. Her warband was charged with defending a tunnel against encroaching Red Guard soldiers, but no one expected them to spend their or send their entire army. One by one, her warband fell until. She remained standing. She fought with a bow, with an axe, with knife, and even bare hands until the tunnel was awash in blood. One thousand and one red guards died in that tunnel that day. It is said that her helm helmet was blessed, protecting her against every attack. But when reinforcements arrived, they found only red guard corpses piled high around her battered helmet. So apparently she died, but her helmet lived on. Or the only thing that survived was her helmet. Alright, curator Uma Thurman, what do we got now? It's so nice to have a little help around here. Indubitably, you've got a talent for relic hunting, and I'd be remiss if I didn't take advantage of that. Here's a list of the relics I believe await us in the wilds of Rothgar. Find them, bring them here, and the museum will reward you handsomely. Remember All right. So I guess we need to check the list real quick. Uh, and off the episode, I... Uh, got rid of a lot of stuff, so we have inventory space, as well as I fed my horse. That way, um, um, we have more speed, so that's nice. Um, the first charter, lost somewhere in the Western Mountains. Dwarf Light, legend has a lantern was most recently used to explore whatever falls. Whatever helmet, Trinimax, house idol. Okay... There's a lot of stuff on here. Holy shit. Use. Okay, so that... Did I get a quest for that? No, I did not. So technically, I guess I can just go about... Um, finding all that stuff whenever I feel like it. Which... That's okay, I guess. But uh, we must complete the map now. Now, how do I... Okay, here's the map. So, my plan of action is to finish this side of the map now but we do need to fight someone at this fall so we're gonna fast travel to here and then see if that boss is up all right we fast traveled here um we'll set the waypoint for there because we do have a quest for that location it's just we have to see if it's up for sure, which I don't know. I think that the, um, what's it called? Give me a second. Those, uh, those things that you have, uh, the artifacts that we can collect. I think I might do that as, like, a bonus episode when we're actually done with the whole DLC itself. Um, but yeah, hopefully, um, defeat Narskogleft, the dwarven guy. Opie's up this time. Uh, the last couple times I've been here, he's not been up, and I haven't been able to fight him. Is he up now? Doesn't look like it. We got a person. We have a couple people waiting. We got a couple people waiting for it to spawn, apparently. 
Um, hmm. Doesn't really look like it's up, so that's a shame. Damn shame. Ow! Stop hitting me. I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. Help me fight this guy, sorcerer. Alright. So, it's definitely not up at the moment. Which sucks. So, I guess we'll head over here. I know there's a dungeon over this way that we can actually go to. I should see if there is actually, um, like a world boss timer for Guild Wars 2. Uh, when I played that uh, a bunch, me and my friend would uh, get on this website where it would have uh, where each world boss would spawn at what time, and we would just hop between world bosses collecting loot. Which I think is like how you're supposed to play these games if you really want to be able to get the stuff. But uh, I'm not really about that life. Alright, so there seems to be... There's a ruin here. Okay. I guess we'll head that way. And do that ruin. Because for some reason, there seems to be no locations here or here of interest. But uh, I think what I should do is I should actually look up a map and see where all the locations are. And then make sure to hit them all so I'm not missing anything. Having that on my second monitor would be a good idea. But uh, I'm not really one for good ideas. Do we got any more? So, oh, we got a quest up here. Wait, what, what are the quests we have now? Why don't I look at that? Um, we have this one, which is, okay, they're all down south. So we'll get to them when we get done with the north part of the map. Because that's how I work. I work in sections. I don't work in a quest. Alright, what's up? Are you alright? Oh, Kirith. What have you gotten yourself into this time? Do you need something, Raynor? Thank goodness you came by. My sister Kirith and I were surveying the area trying to get the measure of this dwarven ruin. I turned my back for a single moment and Kirith fell into that hole. Or jumped him for all I know. It happened so fast. Sounds like hazardous, hazardous business. Oh, you have no idea. Especially the way Kirith operates. We're on the verge of a major Dwemer discovery. That's why the king invited us here. We're experts, you know. Could you rescue my sister? I'd help, but I don't do that sort of thing. I'll find your sister. Kira knows better than to jump into strange holes. She knows I can't abide. That seems like uh, something to live by. Don't jump in the strange holes. Anyways. <laughs> I think, if I'm not mistaken, that these uh, dark elf uh, brother and sister are actually can be found throughout the world uh, in other locations because I'm pretty sure I've met them driving into Dwemer ruins before so uh, that's something to uh, think about I guess I think pretty sure that I'm I've met these people before but I could be mistaken all right but we must find her if I find the chick I know she'll probably be there oh okay um, this notebook belongs to the whatever face, Dungeon Delver Extraordinaire, and somewhat experienced explorer of ancient ruins. Now that I got that out of the way, we can't wait to write about my brother's latest adventure when you receive the notice for experts. Okay. Let's see. I don't know anything really important. I'm just slipping, or I'm just, uh, scanning through this. Pretty much he just fell through, it seems like. That's all that happened. Um, oh, fucking ice raves. I hate ice raves so much. Uh, but I guess I could talk about uh, some of the stuff that's going on with ESO. Apparently there's a, um, a free weekend coming up for the 10th of December. You can play on a free account, so you don't have to buy the game. So if you're interested in uh, playing this game, uh, look into that. Um, just probably look up, uh, go on the ESO website, and they'll probably find something about it. I'm not sure if it's. I'm not sure if it's only for, um, what's it called, PC or if it's for Xbox as well. But I know for the PC they have something for it. 
because uh, I got an email about it as well as it was on like the front page. Also, apparently there's like a giant giveaway that they're doing, so if you have this game, I'd look into that as well. I signed up for it today, but uh, I'm just looking forward to freaking when they put out freaking ESO finally. Or not ESO, uh, Elder Scrolls Legends, because apparently that's still a game they're playing, but uh, still, or a game they're uh, coming out with, but they haven't had any news on it for a very long time. So it seems kind of discouraging that the game could be good, or gonna be worth the wait, which I don't think is probably gonna be worth the wait at all. But that's just me being, uh, on, uh, what's the word? Unpositive? But also known as negative. Because I am the biggest negative Nancy in the entire world. Wait, I can't use my execute on him? Or oh, am I lagging? It might be both. Hopefully the recording's not lagging. Oh, Dwarven Spider, no! Oh, block. Oh, get fucking blocked on, nerd. Alright. Execute. Alright, good job. There's people over there. She fell down in that hole? Weird. Alright, we'll go down here. Uh, sup. Oh, hi. Did you fall through that hole in the ceiling, too? Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Look at this ancient apparatus. I've seen cleaner things in an orc's bathhouse, but it's really interesting, don't you think? Uh, your brother Raynar said you fell into this ruin. Fell? I'll have you know, I'm an expert dungeon delver. I don't fall, I drop gracefully. But yeah, I certainly wasn't planning on getting down here using that particular method. Hey, where is my brother? I could use his help down here. Um, well, is there something I can help with instead? Now that you mention it, I was hoping to collect a Dwarven power core, but the only one I saw was protected by a Zathing Guardian. If you could get the core, I'd appreciate it. Raynor loves those things, uses them to build all kinds of devices. Alright, uh, but why do you need this power core? Me? I don't need it. But my brother Raynor collects the things, uses them to make all sorts of strange oh, and interesting devices. Since yes, we're think we did, oh, we? all sorts of things. Sometimes oh, they do. wait. Okay. I think I might skip dialogue, but I thought she was already done. But oops. But apparently he uses the power things to create things. And I'm pretty sure after seeing her that these people are... Holy shit. Sub Centurion. I'm pretty sure these people are actually in other parts of the game as well. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to, uh... Oh, this is not good. This is not good. He's not taking very much damage. Oh, he's immune to poison. That makes sense. Please die. Please die. Please die. Oh god. Oh god. Please die. Please die. I have no potions. Please die. Die, 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 die. I know that I messed up uh, some of my hot bars. Uh, you can morph abilities in this game where they'll do different effects. So if you level up an ability to a certain point, you can have two different things you can choose from. And for my Y ability, which is a uh, very, very big DPS thing where it stabs in multiple time, uh, the one I chose made the damage over time ability or the damage increase each stab. But there's another one that actually will heal you, which uh, in hindsight, the healing one seems a lot better because, uh, hey, I'm pretty low all the time since I'm mostly just a stamina build, so that kind of sucks. Please die. Please die. Oh, get fucking memed on. Ooh. Oh, I have a friend. Alright, so we're going to play our fun mini game of seeing what class they are. They look to be a tank, but they, maybe a tank sorceress? Looks like. Oh, there's another thing of her journal I could have done. Dude, I'm really glad that I have a friend here to help me. Because, oh, she is a Templar. I think that's what they're called. I might be wrong. I think that's what they're called. But it looks like she's a... Weird, she's a light armor, but uh, she's been using a sword and shield. So, not really sure. Okay. Holy spin attack. 
She's not taking any damage. I'm pretty sure she's a DPS. Or not DPS, but a tank. Just stay out of the range. Alright, just keep staying out of the range. It fucking reset. Are you serious? I was trying to stay out the goddamn range. Thanks, Obama. Alright. Ooh, that's her ultimate. Alright. Alright, let's just DPS this thing down. Execute. Nice. Ooh. If I was a heavy armor, I would enjoy that. Okay, so I completed the dungeon itself. Um, which is cool. Oh, okay. I got the achievement as well. And the... Get the power cord. Hi, cat. Why are you on my desk? You gotta step on the computer and it's gonna make me slightly angry. You wouldn't like it when I was slightly angry. Um, oh wow, too far zoomed out. Uh, zoom in please. Okay. So it looks like we just have to go down this... This corridor? Okay, no, this corridor. This corridor, follow our friend, the Templar tank it looks to be. I don't know why I keep using this AoE thing. What the hell is that? A Dwarven Sentry? Ooh, that's something I've never seen before. Yet again, I've only ever played Skyrim, to be honest. Never played um, never played Oblivion when it came out. Never played Morrowind. Never played Daggerfall or uh, Arena. So, that could have been in one of those games for sure. Where's my friend go? Ma'am? You don't want to help me anymore? You don't want to help me fight the, the enemies? I would appreciate if you would help me fight the enemies. They're big and evil and scary. I don't like him. I don't like him at all. They're, they're stupid heads. You gonna leave me to fight all the stupid heads by myself? All right. I guess I will. Someday I'm gonna have to. Ooh, shit. Someday I should do a character rundown, but I have to get to veteran level 16. Uh, my my plan of getting to veteran level 16 on this character uh, hasn't been really doing well. I haven't actually been playing this game uh, outside of recording for a very long time. And uh, mostly the reason for that was that Fallout 4 came out, and then I stopped playing Fallout 4 already. I'm not, I, I've seemed like I got through that game really quickly, and uh, I'm not really one to make uh, new Fallout characters because I don't feel like you can get as much of a a different experience with the same the characters. I think it's mostly because I'm used to Skyrim, where you could be like, oh. I'm tired of being a dark elf. I'm gonna be a cat person now. And like you could feel like you're a different you know, a different being altogether. Oh, we'll use her blessing soul thing. I don't know what that did. I think it was supposed to heal me. Uh but yeah, no uh I'm not saying Fallout's a bad game. I I always prefer Elder Tools games. So which kinda sucks. I I was wanting the Sky or Fallout Forward to hold me over until the new Skyrim or Elder Scrolls game. Which uh Probably, uh, my, my strong guess is 2017, but, uh, who knows? Hopefully I'm wrong. Maybe it's, like, 2016. That'd be pretty sweet. But, uh, I don't feel like that happening. Especially with, the uh, ESO. Um, they probably don't want to give a, kill their own hype on one of their own games. Even though it wasn't made by Bethesda, it's, it's a whole thing. I should do a video about it. But that involves me doing work and stuff, which sucks. I'd rather just play the games. That way, no mean people can make fun of me on the internet. Oh, what the hell is up with this Dwarven Spear? It looks blue. Also, there's not like people actually make fun of me on the internet. Or actually, I don't really give a shit if they do. This is how I roll. Alright, can we, can we get through this dungeon? I'm seriously running out of things to talk about. Alright. Please, ah, oh, God, I was gonna say, please don't poop out of that hole, and do you know what he did? He pooped right out of that hole. Alright, thank you, uh, are you a different lady? No, maybe? I thought you were wearing a robe before. I think this is a different Templar, uh, tank. Oh, what's up, Raynor? My sister tells me you found her. She immediately put you to work, didn't she? She's always been good at getting people to help her out. So tell me, what did she send you off to find? Some shiny bauble to add to her collection? 
Actually, she uh, asked me to acquire a, a dwarven power core for you. A power core? For me? For all her rough edges, my sister does have a good heart. Thank you for acquiring this for me. With a little tinkering, I'm sure I can use it to complete one of my many Dwemer related experiments. Alright. Was that it? Was that literally the dungeon? Why did they put us here? Can we get out of this door? Yes, we can. Ooh, cool. Medium armor increased at level 44. I think the highest level for the armor you can get is 55. So uh, it's pretty cool that you can actually, or that we're pretty close to actually getting maxed for one of our abilities, or one of our main skill lines that we actually use. Even though I don't think we actually have uh, all the uh, all the perks we can get into it. So, yeah. So what else? Oh, there is a little campsite here. Oh, let's go check that out then. How did I miss that? I'm pretty sure we've won ran by that before. But uh, I guess we can check it out real quick. And then in, in the next episode, I'll, I'll definitely make sure to put a map up on my second monitor. That way, I uh, don't have to look back and forth at the map. It might be a little bit uh, um, annoying for me to pop up the map all the time. But that's just kind of how I play. Also, I might do the the one quest where that the boss spawns. I might do the off screen. That way, I don't have to wait for the freaking thing to spawn all the time. Suck it, ogre. Suck it, Shrek. Oh, look at these pocket mammoths. Look how adorable they are. All right. Oh, it's clear. There. Strange. Oh, there's actually a quest over here. We'll definitely not complete the quest this episode, but we can uh, pick up the quest at least. Oh shit, sorry goblins. Oh fucking goblins. Okay, let's get this guy back here. Die, 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 die. Ooh, this is not good. Oh, execute. Steal health. Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Just keep asking if you're dead to see if you're dead or not. Oh, okay, good job. Dude, I'm MLG at this game. I'm MLG at uh, playing PvE. You know. I don't think I could ever PvP in this game. I just don't have the, uh, you know, the correct builds, you know. I just kind of go with the flow. You know. I'm just gonna keep saying, you know. Would this thing die? Like, right now, you know? There we go. You know? Anyways, where the fudge is the entrance to this place. And how did I miss this? I could have sworn I ran by here before and there's no location to discover. All right, still not the right place. We're like on the back side of the place. Maybe, maybe we can find the goddamn entrances. Oh, well, here we go. All right, All right. okay, it seems like good people are here. Now let's actually get the location, and then we'll talk to this hey. guy, uh, probably in the next episode. That way we don't have to wait till next episode to see what's going on. But we'll see what this is all about. What the fuck? Why isn't this discovering? <laughs> is this not the right place? What the hell? Is it two quests as well? Um Greetings. Greetings. Is this the door? Old Tower. Alright, so we have one over there. Oh, okay, it's this uh Okay, there's only one quest. Apparently the old tower we need to go inside the old tower. Which apparently leads us to uh the uh the forge, maybe? No? I'm old tower. All right. What the fudge? Where the hell is this? If this isn't where the, am I completely missing this for like stupid reasons? I probably looked at the entrance and then I looked away. I have no idea. All right. So let's try this again. There is a location that we Hello. need to discover, and it's a forge. 
that's below? What the hell? I have no idea. Huh. That is definitely strange. Now, where are we on the map? Okay. So, you would think that the forge... Oh, is it underneath this place? Is You're it down here? You're not staring at me, are you? No, I'm not. I'm definitely not staring at you. Um, hmm. Is it down here? Oh, there's a cave. Ooh, am I dead? <gasps> nope. Okay. Oh. Okay. We cannot use that doorway right now. Okay. Apparently, that goes along with the quest. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll do this quest in the next episode. Uh, but if you're enjoying this uh, walkthrough through the ESO. DLC or Sinium, make sure you leave a like on this, uh, subscribe for more, and uh, leave a comment or something. And uh, I'll probably get back to it. Probably. Maybe. No promises. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And it's Clayton, signing out.